Alright. Pages, pages, pages. Hmm. It's like a cassette. It's like playing those cassettes. Um, George, George, George. Anything, anything. Cup. He's a cup. Okay, I look back at the videos <laughs> that I did, and I did miss something. Uh, can I cook something? No. Oh, shut the fridge. Uh, Renote, working at Cromberger. 6 p.m., 7 p.m., okay. That's nothing. Your invitation. Just, you guys can read that. The fridge. Really? How did he. Yo! Stop it! How do these people eat? There's like really nothing in here. Oh. Ice cream. What kind? Caramel? <laughs> cookie caramel? What the? What's cookie caramel? This doesn't even look. What's this? Oh, uh, oh! Uh. Fish sticks. Um. Eh, frozen spinach. Oh, uh, okay. Uh. I hate the lightning. It scares me every single time, and I know it's there, and it comes up every so randomly. Hmm. Magazine. Nothing, nothing important. Oh, here's a laundry. I wish I knew how to explain it better. The army is the thing I grew up with. It's part of me. My dad is the friends. Different until then. And we can be together until then. Huh. Not that important, I guess. Whoa. The green room or something? So it looks like flowers everywhere. Looks like it, the dad does typing there. Go work copy 20 years. Okay. JS. Anything. Grab manuscript. That's a dental human. Interesting. Couples counseling retreat. They they had to have problems then. It just seems like it. Oh god, not another one of these things. Where we'll do it. Final preparations are complete. Wait, what are you guys gonna do? We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. We worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. Right. And she held me. Thank you. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. Yeah. And that's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that in her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. Tubbles. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked, 
Lonnie well, said he got sick of Todd's shit. I thought that was a person. Complaining right about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, You can? And she was like, Probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. No. Till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. Christmas duck protect me. Hold on. Let's see. Um that one. Uh I was so exhausted I fell asleep like that in her arms in the morning but woke up. I was finally alone. I was kinda sad. Alright, Christmas duck protect me. You know what? Really? You need to stop it. Come on, Christmas duck. Let's go. Oh. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. What is... Christmas duck, you really don't need to see this. There's that a key. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. Hmm. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Christmas duck. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. Protect me. And wait. I think I'm almost done with the game, but man, really don't want to go in that attic. Like, I really don't want to go in that attic right now. <sighs> no more noises. For the love of God, no more noises. Christmas duck, we gotta open this. Christmas duck, protect me. Yo, nope. let's get up here, Christmas duck. It's not that bad, but still, kinda creepy. Christmas duck, are you still protecting me? Okay, Christmas duck. I think we're good. Thank you, Christmas duck. Maybe not. I think this is the end. Katie, I'm so sorry. What happened? That I can't be there to see you in person. That I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal, and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did. And that you won't be sad, and you won't hate me, and you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again, someday. Love, Sam. What does Sam do? Something's not right here. What did she do? What? Okay, let's go back. She did something. What did she do? No. What did she do? I'm like missing something or something. Why am I missing? Um, okay. Oh my god. Katie. Uh, I fell asleep in the attic. 
and Lonnie in my old spot, and I missed the first two calls. What the hell? I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie on a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic, and she said she couldn't she couldn't think of anything but me and us. And that she couldn't go through with it. With the army and being a part and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. <sighs> and she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm like, did she like kill herself or something? Oh no, she left with Lani. Yeah, okay. That's a better ending. <laughs> I'm glad I read that again. Uh, do not read if you're not Katie. Katie. I'm so sorry. That that's better. I okay. I can't be there to see you in person. That I can't tell you all this myself. Wow. But I hope as you read this journal, and you think back. You'll understand why I had to do what I did, and that you won't be sad, and you won't hate me, it, and you'll just know that it's fairly good. Um, before I read this, I heard this part. Um, fairly I'll good. <laughs> Trying to figure out what Someday. happened. You still don't know what happened to the parents. So I'm thinking that the parents, when you went to the the green room, they actually left. Um, that's why they didn't answer. They actually went to that uh, couple's retreat, and during that time, she leaves to go see Lonnie. So that's why she's home alone. Because um, when you first started off, it, it was like I was like, oh my god, something bad happened. I don't know. And then you get this ghost hunter stuff. It's like, no, 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 no more ghosts, no more ghosts. But it it was a good game. I mean, it's a good exploratory game. That's what it's meant for. It's meant for you to explore the game. With a little, like, not really puzzles, but you just gotta go find these stuff. Um, the noise is what slows you down a little bit. Uh, there was nothing coming out at you. Uh, I figured there wasn't anything gonna come out at me, but still, that noise is still creep you out. Because it's just like being home, like, when you're home alone. Uh, at night, and you hear all those noises, and you're kind of like, "There's no one else here except for me. What's going on?" And you get kind of freaked out real quick and easily, especially if you're like in a basement, the lights are off. Ugh. I can't even handle that. Um, but overall, it's a good game. If you guys wanted to pick it up, you guys can probably find even more stuff. There's a lot of stuff to explore around. You can read the notes, there's probably even more notes you can read. Um, it's a good game. Kinda like a love story in there. Not a big love story for video games. I don't know, it's just a little weird. In my opinion. Yeah. Cats. <laughs> That's interesting. Alright. I'm gonna cut it off here, and... My name is Bluto and well you guys know what to do.